never gonna believe what I got in the mail three days ago. It's funny because the last batch of these things you also got in the mail, and we also unboxed together. <laughs> yeah, listen, it, because I have to title the video with something clickbaity, yeah. right? You already know that I've got Bugatti parts in the mail by the click of this video. But you don't know what parts I got because I'm unboxing a whole nother part of a Bugatti, which is super cool. That leads me to a really interesting fact. I think I'm gonna sell this. Who should buy it? Should we sell it to another YouTuber or should I sell it to someone I'll never see it again? I kind of want to see this go to another YouTuber. Um, so anybody that wants to buy a hypercar, the red Veyron's for sale, let's do it in a million bucks, right? Cheapest Veyron in the country right now. It's got 9,000 miles. No, I'm just kidding, not a million bucks. No way, that's too cheap. I thought I was gonna, you know, the problem is I wasn't gonna be like, no, it was red. So it makes it more. Let's do 1.2 million bucks, okay? The interior makes it at least 1.2. It's got a red interior and a red car. As far as I know, this is the only all red Bugatti available in the, in the United States. I don't, I've never seen another all red one. I've seen black and red, red and black, red and white, white and ugly, but never all red one. Now, this is pretty cool because I got the black wheels and the black stuff and all the little, really nice black stuff on here. What about the true uh, over a thousand horsepower? Uh, also the exhaust on it. Plus it's, it's actually really the fastest 08 Veyron in the world. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna leave the Rift exhaust, I'm gonna take it off. Oh. For my other one? Oh, you guys aren't supposed to know, I got another one. What? Two big ass pallets of stuff that we're not allowed to put anything up. I don't, I think put anything on top. That's what they were supposed to say. This one looks like someone put something on top though. Whew, I don't know. Hey, there's a turbo Huracan or turbo Gallardo pieces. This is my custom Huracan headers that I have never showed anybody. So first time seeing those, nice. If anybody doesn't know, this is my address. All right, you guys can send me cool stuff. Thank you letters. Hate mail, anything you want, right here. All right, Tony. Where do we start? Do you have the tools? Let's do this. Ooh, it's got a Hyundai logo on it. Ho, 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 ho! Boom! Hyundai General Parts. Oh my god, I can see him. I can see him. That's fine. Shit. 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 Yeah. Look at all these beautiful parts. That's the best part right there. Boy, we know these are seats. And by the aluminum right there, maybe you can guess what they're coming from. These are Volkswagen parts. Let's look at what's in this box. Oh my God, everything is so much bubble wrap. What? Oh, this is a good piece. This is one of the best ones. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect. It is. It's literally so beautiful. I love it. I love every part of this. Man, I just wanna push this button. <laughs> Turn the switch. You just wanna lay on it? Is there an airbag in it already? Look, it came with an airbag. <laughs> Holy shit! We got Bugatti airbags. Oh shit, I didn't tell you guys it was a Bugatti part. Anyways, we're unboxing the Bugatti interior. That's where the clay gauges go. So we need to get some more gauges in there. And we need to put the little piece down here. But I thought it'd be a really good idea to collect Bugatti parts. Because one day, I'm gonna need them. I mean, you never know when. You really never know when, but I'm gonna need them one day. And well, I just thought it'd be a really good idea to have these. Now, I know tan isn't the nicest, 
but it fits Bugatti perfectly. And it's really important to have like OEM Bugatti colors in a Bugatti. If you're ever trying to restore one or rebuild one or make a fake one, you just need real Bugatti parts. So this is the dash and these obviously are the seats. We're gonna unwrap the seats. These have never been sat in. Really? Nice. Okay, they look like they're sat in? Look at this. Check them out. It's perfect. It's so soft. I've never sat in a new Bugatti seat. I love it. It's the smell. It is. It's the smell you can't get away smell. from. They for sure wrapped in I should build my desk in this Bugatti interior. <laughs> right? That'd be pretty sick. I have a real Bugatti interior desk. Two seats and everything. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah. Oh, these are so nice. Trash. Oh, there it is. Some kind of sensor. This is a glass. It's very fragile. Mirror glasses. Jeez, you even came with mirror glasses? I bought every single oh, part yeah. that the dealer had. Every Bugatti part the dealer had left. They, they called me and they said, hey, you know, are you interested in buying some of these Bugatti parts that we have? And I said, I'll take everything if you give me a good deal. And they gave me a good deal. So I took everything. So they got the plastic on it and everything. It's brand new. This piece here costs more than a Hyundai. Turn it over. And look, all of the beauty, oh my God, the CD thing is intact. <laughs> this, does this come with Bluetooth? Shit, it doesn't. No. But it comes with a start button. Boop, boop, boop. This start button, 5,000 bucks. Swear, I swear to God, swear to God. I'm not kidding, 5,000 bucks. Oh, plastic wrap beauty taillights. Listen, guys, these taillights are gonna serve a purpose that nobody knows about. I am gonna make my own custom front and rear taillights, which I've already actually started because with my Mansori ones, we upgraded those ones at Mansori. So now we have the stock ones already kind of being taken apart from my Mansori car. And I'm telling you the design I got is so sick, it's crazy. I'm gonna do like the modern, beautiful, LED look in the back. Uh, not too crazy because I want it to look fancy, but it's a beautiful halo. I love it. I can't wait to show you guys that. These taillights are cool because now if a Bugatti owner wants to buy my taillights and upgrade to the ones that I'm making, right? He can not, he wouldn't have to send me his uh, before we make them. So we could just send them out brand new ones and then we would be able to get those back as a core later. So it's, it expedites the process. That's why I bought the headlights and the tail lights. Because in that box right there, obviously, hella it's pretty straightforward that those are headlights. Uh, let's open this one up, Tony. Oh, this is the one I wanted. Hell yeah. This is the, this is the one I can use right now. Look at this. You're going to shake your pants when you see this. Bigger than I thought. a suitcase <laughs> <laughs> okay come on bring it out here bring it out here look at this that is an interesting shaped suitcase it's a bugatti grill suitcase <laughs> okay now check out what's in here it's a professional <laughs> bugatti car care kit oh my god look it has mixing bottle <laughs> has a bugatti brush Bugatti buffing pads, Bugatti hand towels, Bugatti cleaner fluid, Bugatti brushes, everything from Bugatti. Look at this one. Has Bugatti Carbona wax or Concorso luxury wax. This is the sickest thing. This is actually one of the, this, this thing cost me more than that tail light. Yeah. 
stupid ass thing to buy, huh? right? <laughs> He's got a bunch of luxury items with Bugatti stickers on them. Crystal glass cleaner. Oh, it's amazing, right? Okay, how are we gonna open this? Duh. Oh my God, it's got a case? This case was worth the money. Right. Holy crap. Look at this. I, I, don't, I could just file this thing somewhere. Holy shit. There's some seatbelts, obviously. Look at that. Dude, this is so awesome. Oh, nice. A brand new door panel. Is there speakers in here? Turn around, turn around. Oh, and they don't got the speakers. Wow, Come you, on. You what the heck? Why would we not get speakers? They better be in here. Wait, this is a... Um... I don't even know where this piece goes. Behind the driver's seat. Oh, here's the center center. Like the, where your hands go. Right there. Does this one have a um, cigarette outlet? Come on, tell me we got a charger, charger, charger. Yes! Wow. Charge my phone! <laughs> oh my, I'm gonna swap that thing in my car right now. I could charge my phone. Look at that. There we go. Oh. Mine's got the cigarette letter delete option because ah. whoever specced mine, that that was an important, I guess, option for them to delete weight I savings. Like yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's got the paddle shifters on here too. God, I could be shifting left and right. But you know what this means? What does that mean? I can send this out and have it carboned. That'd be sick. No one has a Bugatti steering wheel. You know they're twenty-five thousand dollars. Really? I swear to God, twenty-five thousand bucks. No one's got one of these. And I have one. I got a Bugatti steering wheel core. Only one in the country. I'm just gonna keep saying world. Just right? Go with world. I'm just gonna go with world. I have the only spare Bugatti interior in the world, spare Bugatti body in the world, and spare Bugatti axles in the world, spare Bugatti everything in the world. Um, I just need a spare Bugatti engine. Mm -hmm. Anybody got one of those? Let me reach out, cause I'll, I'll build a cool car. I built a Bugatti. Basically. <laughs> Check this out. Okay, this comes in a cage. Okay, so this cage holds only one thing, all right? And it's locked. Airbag. Isn't that a crazy? Look at this. Just in case it blows up. They got yeah. foam and it's in a cage. Bugatti thought of everything. Yep. Even if their airbags blow up during shipping. Safety first. <laughs> Let's keep it in the cage, okay? Oh, this is no way to treat a Bugatti interior, but. Well, this is Houston, and uh, this is what we got. Dash, center console, seats, headliner, upper dash, AC vents, manuals behind the uh, two seats, door panel here, uh, door panel there, um, under steering wheel, center console, larger portion of the outside center console, the thing you rest your elbows on, steering wheel, airbag, shifter, side this marker. setup here, side marker lights, that thing, in the center, I mean, we got it all. What do you guys think I should do with this interior? There is a couple options. We could buy an Audi R8 and we could make this work. I got an Audi R8, put a Bugatti interior in it, put a Bugatti body on it, and nobody gonna know the difference. That's true. Might sound a little different, but we could call it electric Bugatti, right? So we can make a fake Bugatti that's got real parts that's electric and so that no one will ever know it's not a real one because doesn't make any noise. So they'll be like, ah, oh, is that real? I don't know. I think Bugatti's are electric. Oh no, it's cool. That's Bugatti. Let's take a picture. Um, yeah, exactly. Like, oh, you know what I mean? Like or we could try to buy a salvage Bugatti, but then like, why would we need an interior, right? We would need to buy like a, I guess like a flood Bugatti because then all the interior would be ruined and like the body because of like the water. And then, well, hopefully the engine wouldn't be ruined. So if we found like a flood Bugatti, that'd be pretty cool. I, anybody know of a Bugatti that went in the water? Oh wait, there is one.